you should really try to explain to Mr. Morton your system for remembering the rules of writing. Well, I've tried to tell him, but he always makes fun of me. Wake up, Henry. You're daydreaming again. Well, you really are daydreaming. That part of it's true. Oh, but he doesn't understand what those dreams are about. I mean, how they help me with my writing. Well, tell him, Henry. Explain it to him. Then he won't be so cross with you all the time. Oh, Mr. Morton. Yes? Uh, sometimes I'm daydreaming and... Sometimes you're awake. No, no, I mean, even when I'm daydreaming, I'm trying. Yes, Henry, very trying. No, what Henry means is that when he thinks about his dreams, he remembers things. Fascinating. Show him, Henry. By recalling my dreams, or daydreaming, as you put it, Mr. Morton, I remember the principles of unity, coherence, uh, emphasis, tone, and transitions. All right, Henry, tell me about these principles. <clears throat> I remember that unity means oneness, having only ideas that are relevant to the topic of the paragraph. Because once I was a scribe in ancient Rome. Fine leadership is what I promise. And olive oil gives me the hiccups. Together we will meet the enemy. But Roman meal tastes like kitty litter. Mamma mia, the rabble is revolting. I'm getting out of here. You're on your own, sweetheart. Arrivederci, Roma. He's abandoning you. And you. Oh. Henry, quick, give the right speech. The one with unity and oneness. The one without any irrelevancies in it. For the Empire and us. No, no not me, no, no. Give the right speech, Henry! <laughs> our, our country's in danger. But you can depend on me, on my courage and clear thinking. Your safety is in my hands. Firm leadership is what I promise. Together we will go forward and meet the enemy. Well, that might work with unity, but it's got nothing to do with coherence, the linking of ideas in a paragraph. Another dream was about coherence. A, a princess had been a famous writer until a spell was cast on her and the wicked witch stole her box of linking words, the words that gave her writing coherence. Uh, but this paragraph needs more linking words to join the sentences in a correct sequence. Huh? Yes, good writing uses linking words. <laughs> Here. Um, well, first, the princess must inhale. Then, she becomes irresistible. Soon, she will meet a prince. <laughs> Later, they uh, will marry. And they will live happily ever after. <laughs> you see how linking words put the sentences in a connected sequence? Linking words are the key. Linking mm. words, huh? You couldn't spare me a couple. Oh, oh no. I need those linking words to make my, my writing beautiful. You see, that's why I'm the best writer in the kingdom and you're not. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm going to have a prince, too. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. The princess was doomed to scribble endlessly until a prince recovered the linking words from the witch. And I discovered the importance of writing with emphasis and without it during World War II when I shot down a Nazi aircraft. Von Shrapnel, you say you are a writer? Huh? Yeah, of course. Then where's the repetition for emphasis? Where is the climactic order for emphasis? I put it to you, Von Shrapnel, that you are not a writer. Indeed, you do not know what emphasis is. This, Von Shrapnel, is emphasis. That's one type. Today, Lord Henry Kent bagged a Messerschmitt with his new anti-aircraft gun. Lord Henry fired over the petunias. He fired over the trees. He fired over the rooftops. He did not falter or fail in his firing. Round after round tore into the plain until it crashed in flames. Notice the difference. The idea of firing is repeated for emphasis. The sentence order adds emphasis by putting an important idea at the end of the paragraph. The police have followed you here, Baron. Give yourself up, Von Shrapnel. Naja, Dummkopf. You think emphasis through definition and sentence order will save you? Well, you're wrong. Let that be a lesson to him, scoffing at emphasis. I think you're on to something, Henry. How do you do it? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>